Yo, what's going on out there, YouTube family? This is uh, Samuel Leggett here representing Team JVS for JVS Reactions. This one is called The Truth About What Happened in That Video with dot dot dot. Um, this is for your boy k -more the GOAT. k -more is going through a lot right now. I don't know if I'm going to actually upload this video, but I will say that I do have like some opinions based on the circumstance. Um, from what I understand, you know, in two videos past <clears throat> on his channel, and I think she did something similar on her channel, um, where basically she wanted to go and do like an OnlyFans. And if you guys don't know what OnlyFans is, is that my, it's a site where essentially you can go and post exclusive pictures or video of whatever you want to, specifically like using your own profile as being the expense of that. And it, it, it crosses so many different lines. And it's kind of like, I think that Kelly's rationale behind doing this was because COVID-19 and lack of money. Um, but at the end of the day, like her man that, that loves her and she loves him um, said like, that's not something that she's, he's really cool with. And that's not something that she feel, he feels like she should go down that road, that there should be other means. And I, I for one, even before I listened to the rest of his thoughts on it, I, I'm leaning towards his side with that. I think that at the end of the day, like you put yourself in a precarious situation by sitting there allowing everybody and anybody to be able to have exclusive rights to see you. Because I don't know if he's gonna bring it up, but if they went and moving forward going into marriage, like one thing if they went and both did it together equally or whatever, but if he was completely against it and he loves her and like their goal, their end goal is towards marriage, like it's going to be hard for him to be able to trust or understand what you wouldn't do, you know? And like, that's, that's bad, bro. Like it's, it's such a sad situation because I, I actually low key, before I started really looking at a lot of like, um, Chark and, uh, DG and their videos, whatever, I was low key, like gunning for, uh, K more to go and, um, and Kelly to get a relationship. Like, I was like, really rooting for them and like now seeing this like it's it's heartbreaking man i'm not even gonna lie to you that's why i'm kind of like leaning towards not posting this but i do want to add that you know like he's an amazing entertainer i hope he does more skits in the future i i worry that now the circumstances bled over to his relationship with his friends um but I mean, I, I would say if he actually does see my video or whatever, that he should stay encouraged. Like he's very talented. Um, if she can't recognize that this is something that is a real issue, um, then it might be better off that you're destined with somebody else. You know what I'm saying? And that, that sucks. That's, that's rough to say, but all encouragement, all prayers going out to the brother because that's a lot. And especially during a pandemic, like, I don't know, like, he, he is a talented entertainer, and, I mean, she's very talented as well, but, yeah, you have to be on the same page going into marriage and, like, serious relationships, and, like, if you can't be on the same sync or same vibe, then there's going to be mistrust and there's going to be dissension there, and that's not good for anybody. So, anyway, um, <laughs> enough to be rambling, let me hear the words from him. <clears throat> nah, bro, like, hey, y'all probably was raised up like that, but I was, you know what I'm saying? So, the call me old-fashioned or whatever you want to say, but that just ain't me, you know what I'm saying? I can't have my girl going out like that, but, you know, like I said, I don't knock OnlyFans, anybody who got it, do you run up your bag, do what you got to do. I wouldn't even hate if Kelly ran up her bag, you know what I'm saying? Like, if you're not, if you're not my girl, do whatever, you know, before she was my girl, man, Kelly was best friends, like, we were best friends. Friends, you know what I'm saying? Like, she, like, this is I, I got with her because you know what I'm saying. She's a loving, caring girl. She's a great girl. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, I don't know what y'all kind of getting from her with you know with the videos. I know everybody calling her saying she for the streets. You know, and all this other stuff. Hey, I totally get that. You know what she did? It definitely do look like she for the streets. You know what I'm saying? So I can't even defend her on this one right here. But you know, from her being my girl, man, she was a really good girlfriend, dog, and to this shit right here happened, you know what I'm saying? But, like, 
I gotta call a red flag on this one right here. So, yeah. you know, I, I'm just not no sucker to go for something like that, dog. Like, you know, you, she asked me, she asks me, before all this shit happens, you know what I'm saying, what do you think about me doing OnlyFans? I'm like, I don't think about it. I don't think about you doing OnlyFans. I don't, not nah, like, what do you mean? You know, I was like, you know, I don't got nothing against it, you know, but you being my girl, you know what I'm saying, I, I wouldn't, you know that, how that reflect on me? Yeah. You know, I'm trying to be an actor, do all this other stuff, you know what I'm saying, how does that look that, that your girl does OnlyFans? You know what I'm saying, really, like in the public's eye, we know what people think about it, we know what everybody thinks about it, so it's like, y'all don't want that pressure on I me, mean, I'm just being real with y'all, like, I didn't want that, like, you know, for either my brand or either damn near her brand, you know what I'm saying, you yeah. trying to do this, you trying to do that, that's, that's, that's but just because thing. money is getting low, you know what I'm saying? In your pockets, you feel like this is what you're going to do. And yeah. every I, I see everybody, if you're a real man, you'll take care of your woman. Bro, it ain't even about that. She ain't hurting for money. And that's the one problem that y'all y'all keep forgetting. She ain't hurting for money, bro. Neither am I. You know what I'm saying? And me and her been together for like four months. Yeah, I mean, not almost, just probably just that. So the relationship is still somewhat new. I definitely love her, you know what I'm saying? But the relationship is somewhat still new. I've known her for two years, but, but like, so this is somewhat of a, like, establishment. You know what I'm saying? It's not like, y'all like, oh, man, y'all just got together, bro. It could be that, yada, yada, yada. But I've been knowing this girl for a minute. Yeah. So that's why I could love her, you know, like, I, like, like how I do, how I really do feel about it. Yeah. So, you know what I'm saying? And, that's rough, bro. <sighs> bro, you know, it's just really... That's you know, like not everybody's in it, bro. This video goes viral, man, because Tut recording, I don't know what in his mind, what made him think, like what could have been going on through your, bro, what could have been going on in your head for you to just post it and you just feel like, oh, yeah, that's going to be cool. Whoa, whoa. I'm going to just go ahead and do that. Whoa, so like, bro, I didn't get the whole There's thing. no logic in my mind for somebody to do that, bro, and that's why I'm so frustrated at him because... This is why all this stuff is going on in the first place. You know what I'm saying? This is why all this shit is going on in the first place. And on top of that, this damn girl is just getting on my nerves, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? I feel like I need space. And just for her to come bogart in my freaking house, man. Like, I didn't even know the girl was coming in. Tut lets her in the house, opens the door. Now she in my room. So now I'm just like, all right, you know, I could be really mad right now. But I'm going to calm down. Okay, what's up? Like, you here now. Like, well, what's good? She comes over here. I hear, you know, uh, a friend or whatever. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, I'm like, you know, what is this? You just pulling up on me. Bro, I'm playing a game. You know what I'm saying? I'm in chill mode. Like, playing 2K. Just like any other regular nigga would be. Like, I'm playing 2K. And she comes to my room, bro, like, just bogards and just like, yo, we need to talk. And it's just like really... Okay, there's nothing wrong with us talking, but it's how you approach me. Like, we we gotta talk. Like, come on, like, what's up? Like, you know, you avoid me, you ain't answering the phone. Like, don't be coming on me like that when you know what you did was wrong. And now you're making me feel like I'm the bad guy when I'm not. I know I'm not the it's bad guy. Like, so that why, like, immediately, like, I'm like, oh, okay. You're on the fence, like, yeah, you started this out wrong. Like, if you want to come talk to me, hey, you need to get off your high horse and come with me correct. You know what I'm saying? So. She didn't do that, bro, and she just got louder and louder, and I think, I guess, Tut heard her get loud or whatever, and just want to start doing this, man, and y'all saw what the rest happened, bro, so, you know, I wish I the video didn't go out, but it did, it yeah. is what it is, you know, that's just, you know, it is, it's just relationship type stuff, you know what I'm saying, so it's like, not a huge of a deal, but definitely I know everybody telling me, you know, I should move on. Everybody, you know, I got people telling me like, you know, man, you got to fight for your girl. You know, I think the best thing for me is just to like really just have time to myself. Yeah. And really think. That's, that's really flat, think. Because I really, you know, need to think. Like I said, I do now, love a girl, but I do feel like, nah, man, like that was just whack. That was that, that, that shit was bad. super whack. You know what I'm saying? You can't do nobody like that that you say you love. Nah, man, you, you don't do nobody like that. So it's just in my opinion. You know, if there's going to be any move made, it's definitely going to be on my time. And you're not going to rush me to, you know, force me to try to do something or give you a, a, a freaking answer. No, like, you, you're not going to do nothing. We're going to talk. It's going to be on my time. We're going to call. It's going to be on my time. Like, I'm taking my time now. But what I do know, 100% show. 
I'm gonna get my ass up out of here, bro. Like, Dang. I think I gotta move out. Dang. I can't live with dude, bro. Cause what what that nigga did was foul, bro. Now I'm going through all this. You my roommate. You my roommate. You know this is my personal space. You know me and this girl gonna like get go like he he know that. So yeah. I I just had to handle the touch later, bro. But as far as the Kelly situation, I'm gonna take my time on that. But this 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 shit with Tut, me and Tut gotta talk. We gotta see each other, you know what I'm saying? And I don't know what's gonna happen when it do, but I'm gonna let him know how I feel, bro. And then he gonna like and if he get wrong, bro, it just may be something, but like for real, for real. I gotta let this nigga know how I feel about this, cause he know he in the wrong for this, bro. Like he know that video shouldn't have never been posted. I like I said, I don't know what was going on through his mind when he wanted to post it. I don't know if he thought it would be funny or whatever, bro. But this Man. just just not funny right now. I'm already going through this stuff. I'm already seeing what people Man. saying in the comments or whatever. You know what I'm saying? I'm just trying to like be chill. You know what I'm saying? I really worry about it too much, but bro, too. like I said, Tuck gonna have to see me That's for what he crazy. did. And as far as Kelly. It ain't too many conversations that I want to really have right now, but man, like, all I know, yeah, the niggas gonna have to run me my fade for doing that, for posting that video, bro, because that shit was fucked up, so, That's yeah, it crazy. is what it is, but, like I said, y'all probably right, she belongs to the streets, you know what I'm saying, because I ain't worried about that no more, so, it is what it is, though. That's Crazy. It is what it is, bro. This man's like. I, I, I preach. I appreciate y'all for watching this, man. He um, taking L's, bro. You know, like I said, I gotta get up out of here before I run into do right now. Just I gotta do stuff on my own time. It is. Appreciate y'all for watching. Y'all be good. Dang, man. I need to pray for that, brother. Cause, dang, that's the first thing I see. The first thing I see is I pulled up to Kennedy and I didn't tell him, Bruh. That's that's not the way to do it. So it was one thing I already knew, you know, the circumstance and the situation, as I brought up in the beginning. What I didn't know was that she came to this man's house and Chat is a dude he does skits with, you know what I'm saying? It's cool with. It. Matter of fact, I think I saw them go to the Bad Boys premiere and then I got to meet Martin and and, uh, and Will or whatever, but it's that's a bad look, bro. Cause now, I mean, I already saw him going to like, it was the Tweezy and Chark and and them like kind of just kind of getting away from the situation. And it's like now, this this circumstance with this girl is putting him in a in a bad vibe, man. Because now it's infringing on his actual relationship. But it's it's crazy because this is this is the real raw thing about like trying to be a content creator on YouTube, man. Like, as much as, like, the pranks and the vlogs and stuff like that, like, it really puts you in the line of fire for anything and everything. Like, with some of those uh, pranks and stuff that he did, like, some of those things, man, like, I was like, bro, that's a test of loyalty. Like, you know, you testing people to see how they react and interact, stuff like that, and I don't know, man, like, that's, that's one of the things that, like, yeah, it... It can give you views, it can give you a lot of like good publicity, but it can mess with your heart and your mind, man. That's that's one of the things like for me, like with doing the stuff with uh, prayer time on Team JVS main site, like I I knew for a fact that was in my heart to do, but I didn't know I didn't know if I wanted to go down that road because at the time that I was even thinking about it was just like years ago, I didn't even let people know what my name was, let alone, you know, like my surrounding circumstances, you know what I'm saying, about my heart, my life, and my love for God or whatever. And so, it's like, I can only imagine where you literally, you dating somebody and people are trying to figure out whether or not this is a publicity stunt, let alone, like, for their own entertainment, like, looking at you, like, putting your relationship on a line for a prank or certain circumstances. And it's like, with this, like, this is this is real. Like, like this man, I mean, now, hypothetically speaking, if, for some crazy reason, Kelly and his boy Tut planned all this, like this is an elaborate plan or prank that was started from that OnlyFans video up until a certain point, like kind of what like Chark did with Tweezy or whatever, then that's one thing. But, I mean, even then, like, bro, I wouldn't forgive them for that, bro. Forget that. Mm -mm. Nah, that's, that's way too much headache. It's, it's not worth the publicity. 
to lose a friendship or a relationship. Not no or something like that. In my mind, like that's too childish, bro. And if it's the other thing where it's actually real, bro, like that's a reassessment of friendships and relationships. And that is terrible, man. I, I really am legit. I'm gonna be praying for my man, uh, K Moore man. Like he he's too good of a dude. And right now, we deal with a pandemic, bro. I literally just got done doing a whole message about like hurt and in and, and circumstance where it's kind of like like stuff like this man can bring people down to depression and like like terrible thoughts and like addictions and like bro life is too short as it is for this it's too short for this like that's childish stuff man so yo k more if you do watch this video keep your head up man stay encouraged i'll be praying for you bro um, definitely try to remove yourself from the circumstance don't let you know the enemy put you in a situation where you like come out of correct and you get yourself in a bad circumstance it's not worth it you know what i'm saying it's better just kind of walk away from both relationship and friendship if need be and put yourself down that line like you got way too much to lose and you know what i'm saying like life's way too valuable to be messing with with this kind of craziness so um yeah i, I mean that i really do legit mean that but anyway um if i do post this up um, hopefully you guys did enjoy um, the reaction but i don't want you to enjoy it from i don't know how to put this like i don't want you to look at this like yo this is more you know vibe entertainment like if anything man like i i feel for this brother man like 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 this is a lot that's a whole lot that's a whole lot i'm gonna probably try to look at i'm not gonna i'm not gonna react to the other i'm not gonna react to uh Tut's video and i'm not gonna react to uh, kelly's video i'm gonna look at them my own time i might have more commentary on this later on um, off our IRL, but bruh, anyway, keep it locked. JVS, Team JVS, we ain't gonna stop. Peace, guys.